Uh, hi there. So we are back with charts and graphs plugin. So now I'm going to show you how to create a scatter chart. So if you come to the design, there is this element called my chart scatter. So first it will ask for the title, which is scatter chart, then the X axis settings. You can give the title of the X axis. Then comes the X values. If you give those X values, you don't have to give the minimum X and maximum X values. So based on these X, X values, the chart will be aligned. The values in the chart will be aligned. Then comes the series name. So there are two series. So then the date. So these are the data from which the values will be aligned in the Y axis. And then comes the Y axis settings where you can give the Y axis title, then the minimum Y axis and maximum Y axis values. So zero to 40, then comes the grid border color. It's gray and then the Y axis, X axis border color. You can ignore the line width. Then comes the color picker from that color picker. You can give the color for the series and the opacity of the chart then the chart height and chart width, then the additional settings where you can give the ticks on the X axis and Y axis, then the animation. So this step size, so dynamic step size, I have given five. So the minimum value is zero and 40. So based on these values, we have given step size is five. So it will be in the multiples of five. So the Y axis will be in the multiples of Y. Then comes the legend settings where you can give the data labels, then the toolbar, then the legend and the markers. So there are marker shape as well. So by default, it's circle, then you can give square as well. So if you go to demo, this is the scatter chart. So this is the Y axis so zero to 40 with dynamic step size is five. So this is the multiple of five. Then these are the, this is the X axis. You have given the X labels here. Then these are the scatter and the points markers. So it is circle. And if you hover on it, it will increase in size. We have markers on hover as 10 and the default size is five. You can give the say shape as square as well. And if you click on data labels, these markers will be replaced by the data labels. So you can see these are the data labels. So yeah, this is how you create a scatter chart using charts and graphs plugin. Thank you.